Hello again everybody, this is Lino Tadros and in this video I'm just going to continue on the previous one. I showed you how to do the re-ranker using the BM25. I would like to show you how to use the most used one in the industry currently, which is actually um, the Cohere re-rank. So let's go ahead and do that. So the first thing I wanted to show you is that in the re-rank uh, node itself in here, the second one, which is the ranker parameter, I had two choices. I had the BM25, which I used in the previous video, and I have also the scale score fusion. But like I said, the most used one is not showing up here yet because I need to deploy it first. So let's go ahead and cancel this for a second. And the first thing I'm going to do, I need to go to my models and endpoint. Let's click on that. And I'd like to deploy a new model. Say I'd like to deploy a new model base in here. And let's look for the word re-rank in here because there are tons of them and this is the one I'm interested in there are two come from uh, Cohere one is for the multi-language and one for English you are more than welcome to try either one of them I'm going to go with the English one here version 3 we click on that and I'm going to go ahead and confirm and it gives you some uh, information in here and the pricing and the terms is two dollars per 1000 queries that's fine with me to try it out I'm going to say subscribe and deploy and once you do that, we'll go ahead and wait a few minutes until this is deployed and successful. And from that point on, I'm going to need to go back to my project and I'll need to create a brand new connection in the management center at the bottom in here, as you can see it on the left side. I will need to make a connection to this new serverless API deployment for the Cohere uh, re-rank version 3, the English language. Sounds good? And after a few seconds, it will ask me what the name of the deployment that you want. It will come up with a weird name. That's fine with me. You can definitely rename it to something a little bit more readable. But I'm going to leave it like this and we'll go ahead and say deploy. That will not take much time. Actually, it will come back and it will say successful here in a few seconds. The provisional state here. And there you go. It didn't take more than three seconds. It's successful. And now I have two very important pieces that I need to remember. I need to remember what my endpoint is for the target URI. And I need, of course, to know what the key is uh, so that I connect to it as well. Sounds good. Let's go ahead and copy these two. I'm going to copy this one into my clipboard. I'm going to also do the same thing with the, uh, with the key. And I'll show you the next set right now. So now that I'm done with this piece, let's go to the management center one more time in here. There you go. And I need to create a connection to the model that I just deployed. I'm going to say new connection. And now I have a lot of choices. Uh, you've seen a lot of the videos that I've made so far. We used a lot of Azure OpenAI services. I use SERP. Um, we had a lot of Azure AI services and Azure AI search. Uh, but this one will need to be a serverless model right there. The one that we just deployed for the Cohere re rank. We'll click on this one. It's going to ask me for the URI. Remember, I put that in my clipboard. So I'm going to paste it right there. That is my endpoint. And then it's going to ask me for the authentication and I need the key. So let me go ahead and copy the key as well. Control C and Control V. All right. I'm in pretty good shape. And that is the connection name in there. It's going to be available for all my projects. That's fine with me. And we'll say add the connection. Now my prompt flow will be able to actually uh, see this. So this is an awesome piece. Let me go back now to the project and we'll see if now my combo box have more than the two items, um, the BM25 and the other one as well. Uh, I will see if there is a third one. We'll say prompt flow. And well, the, is the compute session is still running, which is good. Let's go back down to the re-ranker and let's click on this guy. And let's see if the ranker type now shows the new one. Ah, not yet. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, say cancel on that. Let's me refresh. Aha, there you go. Don't forget to refresh. And there will be a serverless deployment right there. That's excellent. Let's click on that. And then it's going to ask me, what is the serverless deployment? And remember, we called it a weird name, Cohere Rank V3, blah, 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 blah. I'm going to click on that and we'll say save. And from that point on, whenever actually I save everything and I chat, you're going to get pretty much, uh, because this is a very, uh, it's only one PDF file with 104, so it's not going to be a lot of changes. But when you have thousands of documents, this could be an extremely valuable thing to re-rank the documents after they came back from the vector store before it goes to the LLM. That will help a lot with the quality, the grounding, and the uh, precision of the documents that go to the LLM to be able to, to send you back the final result to the, to the user. Makes sense? I hope this was a, a quick way of showing you how to add your own Cohere re-rank and uh, see you again in another video really soon. Thank you.